Hello and welcome. Fighting ghosts with a camera is a unique concept for a video game. One used by Tecmo in the early 2000s with the PlayStation 2 classic Fatal Frame. This and its sequels have become icons of survival horror, so it stands to reason that someone would want to recreate the experience. Welcome to the successfully crowdfunded release from Indonesia, 2014's Dread Out. In Dread Out, we play as a high schooler named Linda. Her and some classmates are driving back to school with a chaperone. They end up coming across an abandoned town, which leads them to explore around. From there, things get spooky. Gameplay consists of exploration, puzzle solving, and combat. The latter two being done almost exclusively with the camera. If you've played Fatal Frame, the combat should feel somewhat familiar. It's not one to one the same, but there is little chance that no inspiration was taken. The puzzles are unique to say none the least, but I'll open that can of worms later. I initially thought I would narrate this playthrough, but no. My real-time commentary did a fine enough job defining my experience. You can change the limbo walking distance through the experience settings in the main menu. What? Uh... <laughs> oh boy. Probably would have preferred to do a video on Fatal Frame, but I can't get that displaying at anything above 480p, so... Ma'am? <laughs> Was she approaching me? Is my game lagging? Where do I go? <laughs> the way the music keeps coming back in. Am I being dense or is this really hard to figure out? Am I missing something? Where do I go? I guess to think this game's from like Taiwan or something. So is this just gonna be what the like the end of the game is, and I'm just playing it as a premonition? Is this music? There's like a cooldown period on hitting enemies, I guess. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's just character model. I thought I've been playing enough good games on this channel, but... Maybe I've gone a little too far off the deep end with this one. I'll hold out the benefit of the doubt. This is probably a very, very inexperienced team working with a very, very limited budget and time. <laughs> Why was he built like that? It's because he, oh, he has his shirt tucked in while the others don't. Well, this is incredibly odd. It looks almost as if the name was deliberately smudged off. She's got like an ASMR mic, you can hear like her mouth sounds. Hmm. 
I got, the game is laggy. Hey guys, we're about to check out the inside. Want to come? <laughs> okay, you're lost. <laughs> oh. How did we get to this situation exactly? I feel as though I've made a mistake. Get back here! Look how much health you have. Die. Does she ever die? As far as I can tell, she won't die. Alright. Maybe jump a bit. Really loud. Oh, she does die. It just took forever. Guess I'll just explore everywhere I haven't checked. Hmm, it looks significant. Oh. The grass and straws here. What exactly do they do for me? Ah, I know which room that is. Polish. Mm-hmm. Sure there's a healthy, reasonable explanation for this. What? Damn it. Hey, when it does that. What am I going to do? How was I supposed to know that was what was going to happen? I'll be honest, I was being dense for one of the puzzles, but this, that one? Am I running from something? What's happening exactly? Yeah, I don't think I can take a photo of that one. Not really intuitive, is it? <coughs> Maybe we get to leave? You're not particularly scary. Locust lady. Alright. Release me. Nice magic trick. Ah. Linda. What are you doing? My controls are backwards. Excuse me ma'am, your pet rat has been rather uncouth and a little unpleasant. Please don't get me. Does this kill me? Nope. They always have like... Ah. Well, what am I supposed to do? Approach you? Say cheese. The hell? I can't say I'm particularly scared right now, but... Uh-oh. 
Oh! Oh, he's really coming for me. Oh! Get off me, Donnie. Don't eat. I think I can say I've officially died. Blob and Weaver on the garbage. I didn't help. Ow! Come on, man. Ooh. What is this? I don't remember what game this reminds me of, but I'm sure I've played something that has... Uh-oh. What <laughs> is this? Run! Uh-oh. It's so sad. My favorite character's gonna die. We can hurry this along. Alright, little fellas. Not for the camera. Oh, what? Yup. Ah, uh, do I know you? Uh, what is this supposed to mean? I'm assuming you have to be Indonesian to get this one. Like, this has to be some, like, Indonesian folk or religion. What makes this point of interest so interesting? We have to see what's not there. It's gonna be so annoying to have to flick back and forth. It's gonna be like one of these situations, right? About this is so compelling. I do. I hate this game. <laughs> ah, I see. I'm failing to grasp the situation here. Do I need all three of those candles on? Is there anywhere else I can find candles? Maybe I had to like go get all three candles or something. Is there another pathway I haven't found yet? It's hard to play a game like this and be like, "Yep, this is what I want to do for the next few hours." This is agony. Ah! That didn't really scare me, but what the hell was that? Why did it work this time? I was expecting failure and instead I got it. Loud noises. Beyond these? Did he help me? I don't know what to do. I was just supposed to know that was a thing. Ah. The camera's so zoomed in. What? Who are you? Ugh. Oh god, get up, Linda. Please. Let me out. I can't wait for that puzzle mechanic of firing away the bushes with your camera to just go away. And never happen again. You hurt. What the hell? Is there any benefit in. Oh! Ah! Oh! Photography, don't fail me now. My talent truly knows no bounds. Boogly boogly. Was I supposed to like take a photo or something? 
Just taking a drink of water, I wasn't looking at the screen. Is it a QTE? Ah. Take the picture. Nothing. What do I do? Come off the hate. I play video games for fun. This is so much fun. Can't you tell I'm having fun? Look at you. that work? I did nothing the first time, but now it works on the second try. Where did she go? Ow. I guess am I just supposed to die? As far as I can tell, this fight is unwinnable. I can't see her. You have permission, ma'am. Kill me. Hey, the game requires death sometimes. How will you ever be able to tell? You won't. Is that supposed to be... Oh, it's her. So is this supposed to be an enemy, or is she just... Well, I mean, if she ain't gonna die, then... Ma'am? Ma'am? Oh! Ah, uh, how funny. What the... Oh, I know what these things are. I've seen them before. How could I have not foreseen this coming? Please tell me she's going to have faster movement speed. Linda, I don't want to play this game any longer than I have to. Take your sadness and go elsewhere. Is there going to need to go... Is this supposed to be like a rip-off of Shudder? It is kind of like Shudder. Ah! Mm, gonna have to make a mental note of everything around here, ain't I? Whoa! Polish. So... Do I just let it get close to me? Ah! Ah! I don't think this game is ready for this extension, but we're here. My sensitivity keeps getting lower. It is getting lower. Why? What's happening? Oh. Damn it. It randomly sped up for a second, then it slowed right back down. <laughs> All right, I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Often I do something in this game and I have no... Nope. 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 Take pictures of all of these until something happens. What was the difference between that one and the rest? Oh. Uh, where? And how long does that go on for? Uh, 
Looking awfully vampiric, ma'am. But it's actually pitch black. Oh, it's doing the thing from, uh, Fatal Frame. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> you barely see. to fight in limbo. You're gonna move forward or is trying to figure out what the game wants you to do is obscenely challenging. Oh what is this? We're in a maze right now. A very interesting concept. I had to find the exit in a maze while doing this. Got listening to this laughing over and over again. It's getting real sicking. Real freaking annoying. Oh, hi, ma'am. Who's that? Oh! Spooky. Did I do something right? Did I do something wrong? I don't want to be mean, so with all respect to Digital Happiness and the roughly 20-man team, this was not fun. There isn't much need for me saying that here, but getting through this was a chore. Graphically, I don't know if they could have done better. There are a lot of low-resolution assets and textures that don't look good in 1080p. Character models are bizarre and ugly in a weird way. Still, I won't write off the game for being ugly. Where I start getting less forgiving is the animations. Almost every movement these character models made looks jank. In cutscenes, the movements are over-exaggerated to the point of being cartoony. Run cycles have the characters hovering across the ground. Linda's in-game animations are fine, but if you look closely, she still clips through things constantly. The performance is terrible. For a game as graphically simple as this, you wouldn't expect it to lag as much as it does. If I had to wager a bet, I'd place it on the embarrassingly bad pop-ins. Even indoor environments will have near constant pop-ins. In fact, if you're in one room, chances are if you head to the next, the game will stutter. This happens constantly. Don't even get me started on the lag after loading in. If I could play Cyberpunk on my Dell-made toaster, I should be able to run this. The gameplay is a travesty. Movement is slow. So slow, even when sprinting, getting from point A to B is tedious. Worse still, there's no toggle sprint. You must hold shift the entire time. This is made worse by how unnecessarily big the environments can be. By the end of the game, navigation became borderline torture. Combat is incredibly underwhelming. As mentioned earlier, it's done with the camera. Enemies have to be in a certain range indicated by static. You snap a photo and they take damage. It really lacks any deep or satisfying mechanics. Enemies are pathetically easy. Some teleport around or throw projectiles, but they all have the same game plan. Meander around for a few seconds, then charge Linda. There is only one exception to this rule, that being the poltergeist in the mansion's dance hall. The only time I actually died was from a gank session during one of the bosses. In most circumstances, if you take damage, just run away until your health refills. Compared to Fatal Frame, this doesn't stack up. 
Fatal Frame had enemy AI that would intentionally try to throw you off. Better yet, you get rewarded with more damage and points depending upon how risky you play it. The longer you look at a ghost, the more your symbols charge. More symbols, more damage. Even better, if you catch an enemy during an attack, you deal critical damage. Alongside this, you have limited supplies. Healing items for non-recharging health, power crystals to use special abilities. There are even different types of film that have higher exorcismal power. All this combines to make an experience equally about supply management as execution. Back to Dreadout, the puzzles. These were frustrating. Despite there only being a few, these took up most of my playtime. Each one introduces a new mechanic that has not been shown to the player and does not appear again. Am I really that dumb for not noticing an extra door on my camera when I can't see both perspectives at the same time? It looks the exact same as any other door, and I have no prompt other than a loosely similar puzzle from the prologue. Or even worse, am I dumb for not knowing to flash the camera at these bushes? Even, even worse, that puzzle with all the frames. I don't even know what the solution was, I just started taking pictures. Fatal Frame does things similar, but also makes it obvious enough to notice. Instead of no hints, you take a picture of a mystical power which shows you a ghost you need to capture. Using your deduction skills, you find the ghost and photograph them. You still have to use your brain to solve the puzzle, but you don't have to read between the lines. Dreadout is pretty irredeemable. The story, voice acting, and music are all miserable. So that begs the question, what good does Dreadout have? Well, there are some genuinely interesting concepts. Using Indonesian folklore monsters as the enemies was genuinely cool. Towards the end of the game, they introduced some fun mechanics. Using the mirror in a room to tell where the ghost is and blindly photographing them was fun. The end bit where you have to navigate a void by using the camera to see invisible walls while being chased was also fun. All in all, I would not recommend playing Dreadout. How this has a positive score on Steam is beyond me. I admire the passion and effort put into this game, but very, very little of it actually panned out. Still, it wasn't 100% irredeemable, so I'll stick with a 1 out of 10. That is my second lowest score. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Off script now. Sorry if the voiceover sounds a little different or off. I didn't really want to record it, so this ended up being very rushed. Still, if you made it this far, thanks for watching the video, and have a nice day.